be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with Bang Your Town. Look, y'all, it's a New Year's. We got fireworks going in the background somehow. And look, man, I want to go ahead and show y'all some tips on and tricks on how to make some trap drums in Logic Pro 10. So I got this basic like, um, you know, strings. I'm gonna let you kind of hear that. And then I'm gonna show y'all what I would do in Logic Pro 10 to make some trap drums pretty quickly. So pretty much you have this, this, this track right here. What I would do to start everything off is go with the quick sampler. So start off with a MIDI track, go down to instrument and then go to quick sampler. And I usually always try to start off like with my 808. You literally can drag and drop sounds right in here. Um, you can go to like splice or go to one of my kits or whatever, search for like an 808, drag and drop it in. It's literally that simple. Um, let me just type that in here. Go to Java. Uh, make sure it's not on loops. One shot. You can get a bunch of sounds here. And like I said, I got kits on my website. You got um actually not you got these, but um bmakerbasis.com and you can get my kits there. But I already have some 808s that I'm gonna use here. Once you once you get those 808s in there, you can just save as and it'll pull up right here. So I have this 808 right here. And, and all you have to do is just like go up a couple octaves and then just like find out the uh the tune of what would work for the for the beat. So I know it's gonna be this F sharp. So I can just take this down. So usually I just play that 808 by myself, like just manually. So just go ahead and just push record and manually play it. And what I do is I just pretty much play one note first. And then I'll come in here later and I will come in and actually like edit it. So we'll go ahead and quantize it. We'll do force legato. And then I can come in here and move the notes up or down as I choose. I come over here and use this uh, playhead marker to mark some places and then push command T to cut it. And I can go like. If you put shift option and down, you can move it a down an octave or shift option up and move it up an option octave. And then it's good to always go back in here because you can see if you messed up and you know 
put them on the wrong places. Sometimes when that happens, all you might have to do is come over here to the uh, time quantize and go like eight. I can move this up like semitones by pushing the option up and down. Once I get the 808 right, you can usually just go ahead and go to like either a snare or like a clap. We'll go to a snare. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna teach you something about this uh, quick sampler. It actually, you can come over here and go to glide right here, right where it says pitch. And I'll also give you a little bit of the spice on your 808s. You can also put this filter on. So like once you get that, like again, you just drag and drop sounds in here. You can save it as right here to save it, and then it'll pull up right here. But I got a snare. Quick tip, if you push enter, bring that playhead to the beginning. Put step sequencer, you click dead center. Now bring your snare pattern in. I just push command R to double that. I kind of think I want to speed this up some, so we're going to do that. If you want to convert this to MIDI, just push Control, Option, Command, and the letter M. And then push Command, J to convert that to, or to join that together. And you can come in here and draw it in, you know, if you want. All right, cool. So we got our snare pattern now. Um, now I'll do the hi hats. Same difference. You just drag and drop it into the quick sampler. And um, I already have hi hats right here, so we'll just take that like that. And I always usually start off with the step sequencer. We'll start off with the 16 steps. A basic pattern going, and then I'll just go to the 64 steps, and I can add some variation here. Go to this one. You also use the you can use this loop right here to do some different things. get a little bit more spicy with the uh, hi-hat patterns you can click that arrow right there 
instead of gate, you can go down to repeat. Instead of tie, you can go down to note. Get a little freaky with this. same on, the, on this one too click that arrow go down here do uh, repeat note you can use these velocities as well pretty much have the whole song done pretty much um, you can add like hi-hat I mean open hi-hats if you want to I always use like if I'm doing an open hi-hat I'm not gonna lie to y'all I always come to my my own kit for that I have this rap boys kit shameless plug you can go to my website beatmakingbasics.com check that out but um I got the, my own kit on here oh, snap all right I gotta load my um hard drive this thing is gonna trip with me okay i got this stuff saved on my hard drive so just give me a quick second it's not gonna let me get past this if i don't upload this hard drive in here so i just plug that in um yeah there it is so let's just see it right now come on now all right cool so give it a second we're gonna upload the uh you know the rap lord's kit in here now it's on there So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this, and I'm just gonna manually do this one. Come in here, quantize that. And then for the most part, we can just kind of end this off with like a like a kick drum. Um, and you can kind of make that kick drum more sporadic or you can like really just follow the 808 pattern. Um, either way, you know what I mean? It's, you just need that in there to add a little extra umph. Quick sampler. Okay, I don't know why this did the over ultra beat. My bad, y'all. Quick sampler. Thought I changed it, but I didn't. <laughs> this one will probably go ahead and come over here to splice. Um, I think we're already in trap, so instead of going 808, we'll just go like with a kick. Um, so I'm just gonna drag and drop into the quick sampler, so you can kind of just see that process as well. I can come over here, save this as, and then just say monster kick, we'll say monster kick. And now whenever I wanna pull this up, like literally start from scratch and pull it up like this. Like I said, it's gonna be um, down here, but you can just load it as well, but I can just go to M, uh, monster kick right there. So like, again, what I'm gonna do now is just follow this uh, 808 for the most part.
might swap out that kick too. Um, but we're gonna come over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna swap that kick out. Put that, that brace kick. So sound selection is key. But pretty much, man, at this point we have this beat. And then if I wanted to play around with this, I could like move this up or down octaves or up or down like semitones. Hold down option. I just have uh, 808 highlighted in the um, you know the sample. So I'm gonna push this up. part the drums are pretty much ready to go I can take this and push shift option and down that's an octave lower and then we got this multi effect going now this is the last thing I'll show you like one thing I do do and I add this often sometimes like with my drums this you might not even really pay attention to it but like in the music you'll hear it but I'll come over here and just grab like a natural sounding drum kit. Any one of these, so like Liverpool or something. Alright, then I'll get these toms and I'll just like add them in as a feel. So it's like literally so quick you really couldn't hear it, but it's in there. So um we can quantize that too. Turn them up a little bit. So this pretty much just like my little, like not little. This is my the big process actually, not the little one. The big process of making like uh, trap beats in Logic. You know, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You know, so you know we're gonna post. You know, the channel's going up, and we're coming back to back with bangers, man. Make sure you head over to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Grab all the kits, all the courses, all of the you know templates and stuff like that. It's definitely going to help you, especially if you want to take your beats to the next level fast in 2024. Make sure you stay tuned, man. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next video.